right guys, so we are back here at Disneyland Park. It is Halloween. It is, well it's not exactly Halloween. It it's Halloween, Halloween time. And we're just gonna run through the park and have a lot of fun. Uh, we made it just a little bit after rope drop. So we have a lot of time to do whatever we want today. We'll try to eat some good eats. Try to ride some awesome rides. What else we can do? Maybe find, find some some, Dis secrets. some Disney secrets, some <laughs> Easter eggs, what have you. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna try to do as much as we can today. Have as much fun as we can. So ready, set, side, side quest. quest. Haunted Mansion, which is the Nightmare Before Christmas refurb. Well, we were there yesterday. We got uh, so lucky. We got pretty lucky, let me tell you. It was closed down. It was closed. We we're devastated to see it on the map. It's like, ah, yeah. oh, it's closed. We just walked by and we're like, let's just ask a cast member uh, if it's going to open today. Yeah, and we didn't even have to, we just stood there, kind of just like, hmm, what was going to happen? And right when we kind of just rested a little bit, boom, they opened it. Huge rush. But yeah, so here we are. Sunny today. The past couple of times we were here is overcast and it's really beautiful. I hope it stays like this. But I also hope it doesn't get too hot. It was pretty hot yesterday. It was. I was a little sweaty. Yeah. A little We're in sweaty. Today, so. Yeah. But you know, I brought I brought a costume. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm wearing my Jungle Cruise fit. But, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really uh, excited to see this a second time. Sam. 
Santa Claus. But when Halloween creates Christmas, you might see a few flaws. Ah, it will float down with ease and keep a close watch on all children, please. The fifth day of Christmas, my tidbit of information for Sleeping Beauty's castle the drawbridge used to be real all right it used to be an actual working drawbridge until they put these right here and some other things so it's not an actual working drawbridge but it used to work it worked on the first day um, but now it just doesn't work anymore which is interesting um, but yeah just another cool tidbit of information this used to be real this used to come up just like an actual drawbridge Jaw, jaw bridge. <laughs> but yeah, pretty cool tidbit. So we found another one. Cool. So when you're in Fantasyland, if you look above Snow White's Enchanted Wish, about every 17 seconds or so, the evil queen looks out the window. It's so scary. So before this was the Bibbidi Boppity Boutique. It used to be a, uh, another store, and the remnants of the old store are cool because it used to be Peter Pan. So they, we have the crocodile right here, right? So there's TikTok the croc, okay? We have Captain Hook. We might have to pull back a little bit. We have Captain Hook, and we have Shmee. Shmee? We have Shmee right there. So before the construction of uh, the, the Snow White ride, there used to be a Nana post which I've never seen before and I wish I had seen it was probably there when I was younger but I never thought to look up but yeah that's a cool little Easter egg here if you're here in front of the Bibbidi Boppy boutique and you want to see some Peter Pan stuff there's TikTok, the croc Captain Hook and Shmi so for Disney's 50th anniversary they dedicated a horse to Julie Andrews so it's a special horse let's see if we could get it Mary Poppins right here, Julie Andrews, it's 
50 and the shoe. the Jolly Holiday Bakery and Cafe and what we got is a toasted Roja chicken sandwich combo and the salsa Roja shredded chicken sandwich on rustic bread with Jack and Cotija cheese served with this cool tortilla soup I can't turn it towards you because I'd spill it so let's see how it tastes we've seen other people eat this and it's pretty good so we're each gonna have a piece you know Toast, toasties with the toast. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we, we, we just gotta dip it. Gotta dip. Hold on. We gotta get, get the dip. Get the dip? I did it. You dipped it? Alright. Mmm. That's, That's good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, the soup's really good. Yeah, Big B was right. It's very rustic, very, very tasteful. tasteful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this tortilla soup is really bomb. Um, got a nice kick to it. It's not super spicy, but there's a good kick to it. I like the little tortilla chips, tortilla strips that they have in here. Really good. Very. This is. It's cool that this is a dip. It's very dippable. Bread is nice and crunchy, even though it's got like, I don't want to say wet stuff in it, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you'd expect it to be soggy because there's um, all the sauce in here and the cheese. Uh, the uh, the crust is really crusty. It's really, <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. But. Yeah, no, really good. So yesterday's video was kind of, or today's video, I mean, the video here is going to be all over the place. So we didn't think we were going to film yesterday, and we actually did. And uh, so it's going to be cutting back and forth. So you'll, you'll understand with the continuity change. More dippies. Yeah, it's really, it really pairs well with each other. Really good. This, this tortilla soup is good. It can be just as good just as a soup, but with the dip, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, because it kind of softens the bread a little bit. Like I said, this this um this is really crunchy. The the uh, the crust is uh, really delicious, but it's really it's really hard, really crunchy. And when you dip it, it makes the uh, makes the crunch a little bit more palatable. So what have we done so far today? First thing we did was we. Went Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion. Yeah. Which was awesome. Yeah. I don't know if we talked about it. I don't I don't think it can be said enough how awesome it is. It's funny because I, I used to not like it as much. Cause I just love the original Haunted Mansion. Like we're big original Haunted Mansion freaks. And um it's funny because my favorite part of the ride is actually the, the part of the queue that's not even really part of the ride is the uh expanding pictures. And um I'm always like Oh, okay, yeah, I kind of like Haunted Mansion when it's the uh, holiday refurb. But I don't know if it, what, it, what it is. Maybe I didn't remember from before how awesome it was, but they have so many cool elements in it now. Uh, they made it, I feel like it's a hundred times better than I remember. And now I'm just a huge fan of it. Um, I'll go on it over and over again. Went on it yesterday. It was awesome. We got lucky yesterday getting on it. I think mm -hmm. we've said that already. And today was pretty short because we came right after a rope drop. And uh, yeah, it was just awesome. Yeah. So we did that. Uh, oh, sorry, we're gonna say something? Oh no, it's just, it's fun because it's his favorite Halloween movie, my favorite Christmas movie. We're actually gonna do a giveaway. We're gonna talk about that later though. So yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna be a fun giveaway. Our first giveaway. Yeah, yeah. But it's cool how it works on those two levels, you know? 
my favorite blah, her favorite bleh, you know, so really good. And then what did we do? We went to Fantasyland, mm -hmm. uh, really awesome cast member. We, we wanted to get Jingles, uh, the horse that's on the King Arthur's carousel. And we missed it because we booked it right instead of booking left. Yeah. We were trying to assume that maybe yeah. it was in a different place. But they always stop in the same place. So if you're trying to get jingles, you know, you're waiting at the gate, go to your left. Mm -hmm. Don't go to the right. Go to your left. Mm -hmm. And you have to shove a kid. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't <laughs> shove kids here. <laughs> Actually, what's great is like, so the first time we tried to do it, we went the wrong way, obviously. And we're like, all right, we'll just ride it. Went back on it. And um, we actually asked like, one of the cast members, can we wait for the next one and be first? Um, because we're trying to get jingles. Her name was Christina, shout out to Christina. And she said, yeah, that's fine. She's like, you know, if someone, you know, shoves you guys out of the way, don't worry about it. Just come back in, come up the ramp and you'll be we'll first you on. on. Yeah, so that you can get jingles. That's but so we, cool. we, I mean, we didn't have to, uh, but if need be, we, we, we would have done that. But yeah. we got There was jingles. a little girl gunning for it, but we, just yeah. kidding. <laughs> no. There wasn't. No, it was, it was. Kids. <laughs> we love kids. <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun uh, just to, 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 to watch her ride it and to get the cool footage and yeah that was cool um, and what else have we done we went on Casey Jr. we actually haven't been on that ride before but it's a, it's a fun little you know relaxing jaunt through you know the little areas of like storybook land and stuff like that and seeing the miniatures was really cool yeah. um, I just like you know trains are fun trains are fun choo-choo trains are awesome and uh, what else have we done today yeah my grandpappy was a conductor What, what else have we done today? <laughs> Mostly we just look for secrets and stuff. Yeah, we've just been going around, um, you know, actually all of these things are just nothing that we've like, you know, like, this, it's nothing new. You know, this stuff has been there, but it's just we've never actually gone and looked for it ourselves. And we just wanted to take the opportunity. We looked on uh, uh, the DBF guide. Of course, Provost Park Pass always has cool stuff. Ordinary Adventures, you know. So we kind of just made our own little compilation. Yes. Uh, things we wanted to look for and then we shared them with you guys. Yeah. Most people probably know about them already, but isn't it fun to see them again? Yeah, it's fun just to, for, for us to find them and see them. Cause like sometimes we, we see them in passing and I won't even mention it. It'll just be in my head, I'll be like, oh, there it is. And you know, we'll just pass by it and then that's that. But it's cool to, to just put it on our channel and, 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 and find it and have the, 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 the record of us just doing it. So it's pretty cool. And you know, sometimes not everybody has seen before so it's cool just to show you guys where those little things are we did a couple of them we'll do a couple more as many as we could find uh, you know it's, it's it's all pretty much out there but it's cool it's fun for us to just, just actually do it so yeah this is this is really good we're gonna we're gonna head, go ahead and finish this up and we'll join you guys back when we find our next awesome thing to do This is our first time in here. Actually, it's really nice. Uh, I didn't know it was like a sit-down restaurant. I thought it was like a quick serve place, but uh, it was nice to be able to grab re reservations um, and be able to just get in right away, right after uh, Jolly Holidays. But yeah, we're, we're going to get this spicy buttermilk fried chicken and brisket grilled cheese. It's a brisket, brisket grilled cheese, hot chicken, uh, are we gonna get the I'm not pickle? married. I'm not married to the pickled pepper relish. I might. Okay, but we'll we'll try something new. Maybe I don't know. Or maybe we'll put it on the side. Yeah. And then touch it. And then send it back. <laughs> <laughs> this is this thing is massive. This, this. So so if you look, if you look. So there's bread, and then the chicken, and then another piece of bread, and then the brisket is right there with the bread. So it's like a it's like a it's double like a, sandwich. It's, it's like a double decker, a double double. It's like a double double except uh, chicken and brisket. So that's like the size of my face. <laughs> okay, all right. Don't play with your food, kids. Right, let's try this out. How? <laughs> How? I don't know. Don't laugh at me. It's gonna be really messy. We flip it upside down, that'll surely make a difference. I can't do it. 
Delicious. That's jam packed with flavor. The picky relish actually tastes really good. Hot. Hot. Mmm. Brisket's good. It's pretty spicy. Definitely spicier than, spicier than what we had earlier. I'm glad we're sharing. I couldn't imagine eating that as one Or like both of these, right? Wow. That is a sandwich. <laughs> it's very hearty. Very, very hearty. Yeah, I thought I wouldn't like the, um, the pickled relish. Is that what it is? Pick pickled pepper relish. Peter Piper picked a pack of pepper pickled relish. I did it. But yeah, it's good. It's really good. I didn't think I'd like it. I was gonna ask for it to not be there, put it on the side. But yeah, I actually, I like this thing a lot. I'm a genius. No, I'm just kidding. That sounds like a good idea, to be honest. Mm, those beans are good. The beans are really good. Really smoky. Very good. No, I get it. It is pretty spicy. It's, it's good that way. Try it. I don't think I've been this full in Disneyland in a while. No. That no. was good. Be nice to the cast members, please. Yeah. They're trying really hard. Um, but yeah, now we're going to the Starcade Lounge to just, to just hang it, out and look at the pick drops. You know, we haven't been there. I guess it's a perk for having a magic key, so we're gonna check it out so we can, you know, live our best magic key lives. So yeah, let's check it out. So we're coming back from the Starcade Lounge, former Starcade Arcade. Uh, in Tomorrowland where the Magic Key uh, lounge is and it was fun. Um, I wish there were more seats. You know, uh, you would think that Disney would account for more people buying the keys, uh, wanting to sit down, especially during a hot day in an air-conditioned area, but it was, it was cool. Yeah, yeah, I wish there had been like some exclusive merchandise or, you know, maybe something little free. Like some freebies would have been cool. You know, but but don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm just glad that they have an annual pass holder system back in place. Yes. And this is our first time being annual pass holders. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Um, we were going to go to Batu to take some pictures, and we were on our way there. We had passed... Um, Indiana Jones. Indiana, well, we almost passed Indiana Jones. We were going through Frontierland, we, or we were going through Adventureland, then we were going to go to Frontierland, and then we passed the duck. We'll let the duck pass, that was awesome. <laughs> um, and then we got this kind of spontaneous idea to go over to California Adventure and ride Guardians before it became Guardians, um, Monsters yeah. After Dark? Yeah, Monsters at Night, Monsters, monsters After at, Dark. Mon the Monsters uh, Reefer. Yeah, yeah, we're right. gonna try to <laughs> run over there really quick. We have about like 70 minutes until our um, boarding pass time. Oh, oh, to so, we're gonna go ahead and try to ride Guardians, come back, and get on Rise. It's all right? a good solid plan. It's a good solid plan. Let's see if we are successful in it, all right? Let's do it. So, we're walking this. Power walking. Power walk. es Esplanade over here. We're going there, here now. 
Did it. Did it. Walk fast. In here. In here. Inside. Now go over there. Yeah. Uh, so we'll go through Hollywood land. Yeah, that's the and best get way. Thing. We're not out of shape. We just ate a lot. Yeah. Don't judge us. Walking down Hollywood. It looks, it looks so nice in here. Okay. Almost a Guardians. Almost a Guardians. We made it. Wait, wait. Oh. Where's, where's my here. friend? Oh, there. We, we made it. We made it. We made it. Getting ready to wait in the sun. Yeah. It said 15. Now it's 20. But that's more of a projection. Sometimes it's shorter. But yeah, let's do it. We just got off Guardians. That was good. We didn't get MJ. We got free ride, which is still fun. The yeah. the drops, I don't know. It's just it's just it's like it's funner it's every time better, I go. Yeah. It? It's just every it's better with with MJ. But that was that was fun yeah. too. It really hits differently when you've eaten as much bread. Yeah, when as you have when today. you have as much bread and cheese in your stomach, Guardians hits very differently. <laughs> yeah, time to hightail it over there. We have about 50-ish minutes, minutes uh, until uh, our boarding pass boards. So let's go ahead and hightail it over there. I don't think we have to rush as much as we did this way, but uh, sometimes if you get there early, they'll just let you on. So let's do it. Rise as usual. As usual. So here in Batu, there are so many Easter eggs and stuff like that that I can't go through every single one. But we'll try to go through a few. Here's one that is from the movie Solo. Uh, it's an M68 that Han Solo stole, and it's right over here. So look at that. That is a tiny like replica of the M68 kind of speed racer that Han Solo stole. So that is really cool. And um, let's go find a couple more if we can. Next to the M68, uh, another cool Easter egg is the Toydarian toy shop. Right? Toydarian is the type of alien, uh, and here's like one of them right here. You might remember him. It's the same alien that kind of owned Anakin in the Phantom Menace. And inside the Toydarian toy shop, there's these cool mobiles. Uh, I have to put my mask on these. Cool mobiles. And you look over here. All right? So, one of these mobiles right here kind of depicts the star battle that they had in Empire Strikes Back. And if we go a little further, it's Jabba's little slave ship from Return of the Jedi. So here's one of my favorite ones here at Ronto Roasters. Uh, we have this giant uh, engine from a ship or I think a pod racer that's heating up the Ronto, okay? And over here, we have this droid. And in one of the Star Wars movies, this droid was actually smelting or um, melting other droids. So it's cool that they found another use for that. Pretty awesome. So that's another Easter egg. If you're walking around and you're wondering where it's from, or maybe the reference it's making, right there. So another cool thing about Galaxy's Edge and its immersion is that in front of the rides and in front of a lot of the stores, like the Toydarian Toymaker and Doc Ondar's Den of Iniquities, they don't have huge signs with the names of the places. It's very subtle, like you, like over here. Like it doesn't say Rise of the Resistance over the top, okay? It, it says it like, you know, on little signs over there. But it's not all big like in Adventureland where it says Jungle Cruise or in front of Haunted Mansion, it says Haunted Mansion. So it's very subtle so that you can actually feel like you're in a, like, like an actual like city in space. So that's a cool little factoid there. Awesome, right? We are now leaving Batu and we just rode Ride of the Resi Rise of the Resistance for the billionth time. I could ride that uh, ride over and over again. It never gets old to me. How about you? No, yeah, yeah. it's good. So as we're leaving, whoa, whoa, a ship just landed. So as we're leaving, the last um, little factoid or uh, a piece of immersion that they have in Batu that I will leave you with is the droid tracks that are on the floor next to Rise of the, Re Rise of the Resistance. So if you're walking in from Critter Country, okay, and you look at the floor, here let me show you. There are droid tracks. Alright. There's some droids right there. That will lead you out of Batu. Alright. So, um, I know we've kind of eaten a lot, but my tummy could use a little refreshment. 
Oh, what do you think about having a Dole Whip? Yes, please. Dole Whip? All right, let's go to the Tropical Hideaway and get some Dole Whip. change and some Dole Whip and some lumpia and some bows um, yeah uh, we are here at the tropical hideaway right in between the jungle cruise and uh, the tiki lounge the enchanted tiki lounge excuse me and we had this stuff yesterday so um you know the person who could explain it best is yesterday me so let me go ahead and kick it off to yesterday me because he has actually a better explanation of how good this food was because you know, we're eating it today and um it, it wasn't as you know uh, fresh as our opinions yesterday when we had it for the first time so let me kick it off to yesterday me go ahead here at the Tropical Hideaway. Tropical Hideaway. Right, uh, right next to the Jungle Cruise boats are going off behind us. And we finally got a Dole Whip. Mm. Super refreshing. Now, there's a poke spot kind of near where we live. And um, it's good. And. Um, it you know satisfies the craving for Dole Whip, but there's there's nothing like eating nothing like eating a Dole Whip in Adventureland in Disneyland. So teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> teamwork failing. <laughs> so good. Whoa, this table is wobbly. <laughs> You must eat it before it melts. You know, these don't, they don't melt as fast as regular soft serve. Because we got it like a couple minutes ago, and it's not like, you like, like if, a, if it was vanilla, it would be just, just dripping. But look, not even a drip. So we also got some lumpia. And I am like, like really like, not just making a joke, I am a connoisseur of lumpia. Why? Because I'm Filipino. We also got, what else did we get? The lime chicken bao. Lime chicken bao. It's very hot. Um, when, when I usually get shop bao, but this is a bao, I don't know, there's, I don't know if there's a real difference, but there is this kind of like, sa like soy sauce-ish, like this thick soy sauce-ish, but... Here's a joke for the skippers out there. What do you call an elephant in the boathouse? You know what it tastes like? Ha! Huh. It kind of tastes like Stuck. um that tum yum sauce, right? That that Thai that it's like it's like a hint of tum yum, the the Thai soup. Oh, the soup. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there's this Thai soup that we really like called um, tum yum sauce. It tastes like this. Tom Yum sauce. <laughs> is, it, is that, I mean, Tom, tom Yum soup. And it's, it's actually, it, it tastes like it. It tastes really good. It was better than I thought it was going to taste. I thought it was going to taste more like curry. Because it kind of has like a curry kind of color to it. I've seen a lot of vlogs. You know, kind of explain how this tastes. But, um... I, I never really put my finger on it. Like, what does it taste? I know it tastes chickeny, limey a little bit, but it tastes like like tom yum sauce, or tom yum soup um, that you would get at a Thai restaurant. Tastes like that soup. It has that like little tinge in it. Tastes good. Tastes good. Tastes better than I thought it was gonna taste. Cause I kind of have a high bar for like bao and shou pao. That's really good. We've been run, running around. I'm like, what do we eat? There's so much to eat. And you want to make it worth it when you come here. You know, what you eat, you don't want to be disappointed and be like, okay. The only reason why it'd be good to get that's something disappointing is so that you don't get it next time that you come here. We, we, we had one of those yeah. issues. Yeah. 
Yeah, we went to the Lucky Fortune Cookery, I think it's called. At the Pacific Wharf in uh, California Avengers. Um, I don't know if it, may, it was maybe a bad day, but don't, don't, don't get their bulgogi burrito. It sounds delicious. It's not really... It's not... It's not great. Maybe we'll go back and see if it if it's better. But I don't. No. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it wasn't good. And um, don't get the don't get the Thai coffee. <laughs> don't get the don't get the <laughs> don't get the coffee. Don't get the Vietnamese coffee. Vietnamese coffee. Don't get the Vietnamese coffee. Yeah, it t I don't I don't know what happened there, but it really just tasted like um, regular coffee with like maybe some condensed, condensed milk, milk, like a little bit. And it, that's not. It was really bad. That we got it with the bulgogi burrito. Yeah, actually, what sucks more is we chose we chose that over this. We're like, should we go and eat this, or should we go and get the bulgogi burger? Don't don't do that. Always get this. This is good for you. There's two of them. What a steal! There's two. If you didn't know, there's two. So. Enjoy your two lumpia. All right, let's see how this let's see how this lumpia fares. Okay. Wait, 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 let me catch up. Okay, we'll do it together. I'll wait for you because I like you. Lumpia toast. <laughs> this is actually very good. You know. You know, a lot of places phone it in as far as the uh, egg rolls go. Um, so yeah, this kind of reminds me of a lumpia that would I would have at one of my family parties. Good, here, I'm, I'm not gonna take a premature, you know, um, not, not gonna judge prematurely. If anybody sees Jose, you tell him Rosita has left the bird mobile and is now traveling the world. She's gone. <laughs> so let's try this again, just so we get a good official side quest seal of approval. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is good, this is good, I enjoy this. If his mom's watching though, yours is better. <laughs> yours is always better mom, but if you're watching this and you're Filipino and you're on the fence, like should, get, should I get the lumpia here, you know what I mean, like and, and, and you have like distrust and and how like lumpia has been done in other places, you know, they make just a regular egg roll and then they slap the lumpia on it to sound all exotic. This is good. This yeah, is good. It's good. The egg roll is nice and flaky. The sweet and sour sauce. The sweet and sour really sauce is good. Yeah. Um, it's just good. It's just good. I totally recommend it. Side quest seal of approval. I'm not gonna retract it later. <laughs> yeah, not a premature seal. It's not a not a premature seal of approval. Really good. <laughs> And we got a really good seat. I, I didn't think we were gonna get a good seat here. Yeah, because when we walked up, all the tables were full. Yeah. But by was, the time we got through the line... It was line, like playing musical chairs without the music and more mean faces, but... <laughs> but yeah, it was... Sometimes you have to kick a few kids to... Just to get <laughs> to, to be pilot on the Falcon. You have to shove a kid over and be like, I'm pilot. <laughs> Which we would know nothing about. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I didn't that. do that the first time I was here at Batu after too many drinks at Oga's. Doesn't sound like me at all. So if you're looking for something quick, um, this line is actually really fast. They have everything prepared kind of in those large steamers and then uh, the lumpia is like kind of kind of like on like a warmer, uh, but it's still freshly, it's fr still freshly made. But you kind of just walk through, grab what you want, tell them what go if you want. And um, yeah, you just get it, you pay, you sit down, it's pretty quick. You're like you don't order it and then you wait for it. It's just like there for you to pick and point and choose. So if you're looking for something quick, something not, not too heavy, not like a full dinner thing, uh, to kind of fuel you in between rides and attractions, this is definitely the place to be. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Thank you. Yes, I agree. All of it. So this is yesterday me. I'm gonna kick it back to tomorrow me. Okay, so. All right, here you go tomorrow me. So I got this awesome, tasty, seasonal Halloween tree and it's uh, a churro with chocolate crunches with some strawberry sauce and gummy worms and matcha, which is interesting uh, flavor. Uh, so, let's see how this tastes.
Mmm. Mmm. That's good. It's like boom. First you taste the matcha a little bit. And then the strawberry comes in. Uh, the matcha is a little subtle, but you can taste it. It's really, really good. Uh, and then the strawberry sauce just is a nice little um, kick at the end. It tastes really, really good. So let me get another bite in there. Mm. Try it with the gummy worm. So we're leaving uh, California Adventure because they're starting Oogie Boogie and we tried really hard to get tickets to Oogie Boogie. We did. We, we had a special situation. I really don't want to talk about it. Yeah. I mean, if you guys ask, we'll let you know. This is it's a clerical thing. Yeah. But now we're leaving. But at least but we got to go. And we're, we're in a, yeah, Monsters After Dark. Yeah, at least we got to go on Monsters After Dark one more time. That, that, that ride is really, really good. Don't worry, guys. We're in good company for not being able to get in. I mean, check out this line. <laughs> check out this line. I mean, you'd think it was like the afternoon or something, like. Yeah. But um, okay, I'm gonna do it from this way. But um, yeah. yeah, this is gonna take a while. So now we're all going to Disneyland. Together. Everyone's going to Disneyland now. But it's fine, you know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll we'll have some fun in the last few hours that we're here. All right. So one of my favorite little tiny Disney secrets is right here next to the Indiana Adventure Temple of the Forbidden Eye and back then they used to write little stories uh, little uh, and uh, little you know uh, cartoon books about this character named Patrick Begora and they, there's a leprechaun and they uh, Dis Walt, the story is Walt Disney uh, asked his first permission to build the park and build all these all these cool things and he said that's okay you could do that if you build a tiny house for me and if you come over here you can see his house So I wanted a sweet treat, so let's see what kind of uh, baked goods they have here at Pooh's Corner, right next to the Winnie the Pooh ride with all the heffalumps and stuff. Let's check it out. Watched the um, the Halloween uh, projection. I'm kind of sad that it wasn't the fireworks. Uh, I don't know exactly why they don't do the fireworks certain days. Maybe it's because of Oogie Boogie Bash. But watching it, they had some cool laser lights. The projections were and cool. Fire. And the fire. Yeah, that was yeah. actually pretty cool. So uh, last time we checked in, we were walking back from when California Adventure closed. And since then, what have we done? Went on Splash Mountain. <laughs> we went on Splash Mountain. <laughs> We went to Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is definitely something that we try to always do at least once when we come here. Um, what else did we do? Uh, we got a cookie. We got a cookie. That was yeah. awesome. Um, what else did we do? Was it Tropical Hideaway? Was that before or after? We did go to Tropical Hideaway. I don't know. It's all, it's all been kind of a blur since we've been here for a while. But we had some good eats. We had some good treats. Uh, we, we found some of our favorite um, Disney secrets and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a good day. It was really awesome. We really had a good night. And I'm going to leave you guys with one last Disney secret. So when Walt used to come here and live here, he used to have a apartment right above the fire station behind me. And you would know that he's here with that light up there. All right. And now they leave that light on in remembrance of him and, you know, all the great things that he's done here for the park. So, um, thanks for joining us. I hope you have fun. Please like and subscribe if you like the stuff that we did. Sorry we're a little uh, all over the place today, but I think that's kind of 
That's our kind of our brand. Our I trademark think. is kind of being all over the place. We just like to have fun, try to keep it loose. We we definitely try to have some type of set schedule and and stuff that we shoot. We have a shooting list, but you know, um, sometimes plans don't always go as you plan them. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I hope you guys tune in. I hope that you know we can entertain you with the the, the um, content that we provide you. Uh, you know, so thanks for joining us. So in this video game we call life, don't forget. The side, the side quest. quest. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for joining us.